In this video, we're going to solve a couple of systems of equations by graphing. So to solve by graphing, we just have to graph each equation and then look for any points of intersection. And wherever the two graphs intersect, that's going to represent a solution or solutions. And because part A um, has two equations set equal to y, it makes things a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and go to desmos.com to use the graphing utility and start graphing. And on the left side here is where we plug in our equation. So I'm going to have y equals. And then to get to log, we're going to click functions down here and then go ahead and click our miscellaneous tab. There's a log down there that says log sub a. You don't want to use log because there's no um, base that you could change there. So use this one down here, log sub a. And that allows us to plug in a base, which was 2. And then in parentheses, we're going to do x plus 3. Whoops, that should be a plus. And there is our first equation that we graphed. Uh, the other one uh, is going to be y equals base e raised to the x power. Arrow over, and then we're going to subtract 3 and hit enter. And then all we have to do is trace these graphs to find the points of intersection. So we have one right there. And I'm going to come down here, and this is the other one. So these are our two solutions to the systems of equations. So this was the first uh, solution to the system. So our x was going to be approximately 1.652, with the y that was approximately 2.218. And then our other solution to the system was down there. This is going to be x's approximately negative 2.87 and then y is going to be about negative 2.943 so we had two two solutions for the system in part b we're going to solve it the exact same way as part a we're going to graph each equation find the uh, intersection points and then those will be our solutions but this is a little bit harder because neither our equations are set equal to y so what we're going to do is apply the inverse and as you can see, I have the standard form of an exponential function written right here. Well, the inverse is when we switch the x and the y. So then this would represent the inverse. The nice thing about the inverse is that we could rewrite it um, using a log scale. And that exponent, which was y right here, ends up being what our equation is set equal to. And we need to use that idea uh, to help us out in part b. So let's go ahead and rewrite the first equation, but using logs. So I'm going to write down log first to start. And then, uh, as you can see, our little b right here came from our big b. So our 2 ends up being our little 2 here. And then the part in parentheses, which is our x, is what our inverse right here was set equal to. So um, this is set equal to 16, so it looks like 16 is going to go in our parentheses. And then we set our log equation equal to whatever the exponent was. So that's going to be x plus y. Now we could just take away x from this right side as well as the left side. And our equation will be set equal to y. We have y equals log base 2 of 16 and then minus x. And if you want to simplify this a little bit more, uh, we know that log base 2 of 16 is going to be 4. And then we've got minus x. This is going to be equal to y. So here's our equation, and we could graph this. So now let's go ahead and do that same thing for this equation. Um, our log needs to be written, so write that down. And then our big base here, our 4, becomes our little base. And then this part, our 1, is what we put in parentheses. And then our exponent up here is written on the other side of our equal sign. So I'm going to evaluate log base 4 of 1, that is 0, which equals x minus y. And then I want to get y by itself, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to the right side, add it to the left side to keep my equation balanced, and I'm left with y equals x. So I could graph this one right here, and I could also graph this one and find the intersection point. So now I'm back in Desmos. I'm going to graph y equals x, hit enter. And I also have 4 minus x, which equals y, hit enter. And then the point at which they intersect is going to be the solution. So 
right here you can see at 2 comma 2 uh, is our intersection point so that's going to be the solution to the system of equations so there we go 2 comma 2 that means that x equals 2 and when x equals 2 our y is going to equal 2 as well